What's up guys, it's Johnny O and today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can install a custom theme on your 3DS. So I just want to show you guys how you can actually install custom themes on your 3DS without having to purchase them from Nintendo. Uh, you can go ahead and find pre-made ones made by the community. Uh, so there's a couple things you have to have done first, really just one requirement you have to have done first. Um, is to go ahead and have a way to do the homebrew launcher. Uh, so if you check out my video up here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here how you can set up homebrew launcher and take it a step further and install custom firmware on your 3DS as long as you're on 11.2 or lower firmware. So one thing I did forget to mention whenever I was recording uh, the steps for how to do this is that um, whenever you're switching themes, if you wanna make sure that the background music for your new theme carries over, uh, you'll want to go ahead and go to the 3DS uh, home menu settings and actually set uh, one of the default themes on your 3DS before you switch to a new theme. So if you have, say, a custom Legend of Zelda theme that has a background music, and then you go and say, I want to switch to this custom Gundam theme with its own background music, uh, what I found happens is when you make that switch, the um, background music from the original theme you had set will get kind of stuck uh, so it won't apply the background music from the new theme so you'll have your Gundam theme with the Zelda background music playing uh, so that's just something to be aware of so before you switch switch back to a, a Nintendo default theme and then go and launch the, um, the theme manager and set your new theme up alright guys so once you're able to get into the homebrew launcher on your 3DS uh, it's gonna be your minimum requirement for loading a custom theme, uh, you can go to 3ds them, so 3ds them dot es to get your custom wallpapers or your custom themes I should say for your 3ds so make sure you're going to 3ds them dot es and nothing else so any other URL um, is likely going to link you to a malicious site uh, as far as I know this is the only legitimate legitimate version of this site. So you'll see here you have several hundred pages of custom themes to choose from. Uh, looks like most of the ones here are pretty high quality. Uh, there are some trash themes on here that are honestly just people goofing around. Um, that's the beauty of it is you can you know, create your theme, you can go on here, there's lots of you know strange anime girl themes if you're into that kind of thing. Um, there's some pretty cool Dragon Ball ones, seen some Final Fantasy ones, um, stuff like that. They just curve me. Uh, so, yeah, there's some pretty good themes on here. Um, so, once you find one that you like, uh, you see there's a Link Between Worlds theme. Uh, a bunch from wreck and Ralph, actually. Uh, really good movie, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. So, I've been doing a Link Between Worlds playthrough here lately. So, it's actually the first time I've played it. Let's check this out. So you see you get a preview of the theme that or the background music that the guy has uh, loaded with this theme. You can go ahead and hit this download button if you like it. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up. So then you see the extract the zipped file. And then what you would want to do actually it was is take this folder and my SD card reader actually broke, so I'm gonna have to just show you an example of from one of my backups. Um, so, um, so what you want to do is you want to add a new folder to the root of the SD card, and just name it Themes. And you come in here, and you would actually just grab uh, the folder that contains your theme files and just straight drop it there. Um, uh, so I won't be able to show you guys this exact theme <laughs> whenever I show you how to load it onto the 3DS because like I said, my SD card reader broke. I'm gonna have to get a new one uh, here pretty soon <laughs> so I can keep uh, hacking away at the 3DS. But anyways, um, so once you do that, you can eject the SD card, insert it in your 3DS, and then I'll be right back to show you guys how you actually add the theme to your 3DS. Alright guys, so I went ahead and set my 3DS back to using no theme. So we're going to go ahead and go into the homebrew launcher right here. 
Um, so I would use NTR's uh, streaming ability to record this for you guys, um, but the problem is that you can't uh, actually run NTR and the um, custom uh, theme manager that we need to at the same time because they both attach to the home menu and so they can't if you try and like so if you launch the theme manager and then try and launch the uh, NTR CFW NTR will fail because the theme manager is hooked into the home menu you actually have to reboot your 3DS before you can launch NTR after you launch the theme manager so we're gonna go ahead and navigate to it press A to launch the theme manager and you see right here just goes into a Rolodex of all the themes you have on your SD card. So like if we go ahead and go through, let's go to got a bunch of Zelda ones. Let's do one that's a little more interesting. Let's do this uh, Gundam one here. So if you actually press Y, it'll open up a theme preview on your top screen. So to show you what the top screen will look like. And then after a few seconds, It'll switch over and show you a preview of the bottom screen, just like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select this with A. You'll see it'll tell you installing thing theme at the bottom there, and then you can actually go ahead and exit. Oop, focus got all messed up. There we go. And you'll see you launch into it with the new theme. You can hear it's got the background music going on. You see they've actually done, uh, let's see, let's go launch them. They actually added some custom sound effects as well. So you see you get that little Gundam sound effect whenever you launch an application. So guys, go ahead and uh, hit that like button if you liked the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If there's anything else that you guys would like to get a quick how-to video on, how to do with your 3DS or anything else tech-related, um, go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button so you can get subscribed to the channel and share the video with a friend uh, if you think they'll find it helpful or useful in any way. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Tito Tech Tube. Uh, that way you can get, stay up to date on all the latest videos coming out. And as I get more followers on there, I'll probably start posting more behind the scenes type content uh, as well as kind of teasing some of the upcoming videos for you guys. Uh, so until next time, it's Johnny O signing off.